Hello, welcome to my channel, Lifestyle with Sharon. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make hummus. And if you keep watching the video, you'll find out five different ways that I've changed the recipe a little bit to make five different types. So we'll start with the basic one and then keep watching to find out the other four. So I'm just going to show you the ingredients you need to use. So for the basic one, it's really simple. You just need a little bit of oil, one tablespoon of oil, one can of drained chickpeas, half a lemon squeezed. You can use a whole one if you do like a little bit of a kick. Two cloves of garlic, a pinch of salt, three tablespoons of tahini. And you can make your own tahini if you don't have um, access to a jar, but most supermarkets will have it. We want one quarter of a cup of water and we want one teaspoon of turmeric. So I hope you enjoy the video. And if you do, please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Just say hello where you're from and I'll say hello back to you. So enjoy. Right, so to a food processor, we simply add a bowl of drained chickpeas. We want to have a little pinch of salt. We want to squeeze half a lemon. As I said, if you wanted a whole one, you can. So one teaspoon of turmeric if you want to. Quarter of a cup of water. One tablespoon of olive oil. Then you want to add two cloves of garlic. And then you want three good tablespoons of tahini. I love tahini. It gives so much flavour. Get the last bit off the spoon. I'll get another spoon and just scrape it like that. So you're not wasting any of this lovely stuff. And that is it. Very, very simple. So we'll put the lid on and we'll just let this blast for a few minutes. So maybe halfway through, just get a knife and go around the edge just to make sure that it's all mixed properly because you might get a few bits that stick and then give it another whiz for about a minute. So we'll just take the lid off and you can see in here how nice and creamy that looks and what a lovely colour it is. The turmeric gives it the more yellow colour. As I said, you don't have to do that. And we'll dish it out into this bowl. This is a perfect consistency. But if you like yours creamier, you can add a bit more water or you can add another tablespoon of oil. But I like it nice like this. Fairly thick, but it's still creamy. Right, once you put it into a bowl, what you do is just simply flatten it a little bit. And then if you go around with the spoon and kind of scrape a little bit into it to make some kind of pattern. So you can have some whirly bits. Now some people like to put olive oil into the swirls, but I don't. I like to leave it like that. And then I like to decorate it. Um, there's several ways you can decorate it. You can put a bit of lemon. You can get a bit of cucumber and cut it nice and thin slices and just do a slit halfway like this and you can pull it one way pull it the other and that gives you this swirly and then you just put it onto your lemon and it just helps you decorate it you can put i've got some spring onions and i just cut the ends off so you've got the darker green and i put a few of those on a little bit of chopped up spinach a couple of sliced tomatoes and then you could get some what have i got here so, uh, sunflower seeds and just sprinkle a few on like this and some pumpkin seeds you can use different things these are just some suggestions maybe you can write in the comments what you like to do on yours just makes it look nice when you're serving it up to your friends or your family so keep watching and you'll find out what i'm going to be doing next to change this hummus up a bit okay so now we're going to make a bell red pepper hummus so we are going to make the bell peppers ourselves. you can get them a jar if you didn't want to make them yourself but they're very very simple so here's how you do it you simply get a red pepper and cut it in half red peppers are the best ones and cut it in half again and just cut off the, the white bits and then scoop out the seeds with a spoon once you've de-seeded your pepper you're going to put it in this oven proof dish and you're going to put some olive oil onto it so just put a tiny bit on you can do it with your hands or you can do it with a pastry brush and just rub the olive oil on. Empty the rest onto the tray if you like and dip your brush into the tray and then put it onto your pepper. So we want a whole pepper, four quarters, into the oven 
electric 200 for about 40 minutes. So these are the bell peppers. They basically mean you, you burn the outside of the skin. So you can do it in the oven like we did, or you can even put it straight onto the gas, just to hold it in a pair of tongs and it will burn the skin. Once the pepper is cooled down, you simply just peel off the skin and this gives it a lovely, beautiful, sweet flavour. If it doesn't peel off easy, it means it's not burnt enough. So just put it in for another few minutes. Bit of a messy job, but it's lovely. But as I said, if you don't want to do this, you can buy it in a jar already done for you. So you've got no peeling of the skin or anything. If you don't like to do this job. Putting these bell peppers into the hummus gives it a lovely, lovely flavour. So we're just going to place these bell peppers into the food processor. Now I only did one pepper, but you can do two or three if you like. Two cloves of garlic, tin of chickpeas. Just left a few over for garnishing. This time I'm going to be using paprika. So one teaspoon of paprika, juice of half a lemon, third of a cup of water, one tablespoon of olive oil, and then three tablespoons of tahini again and a pinch of salt. Again as before, blast it for a few minutes. Bell red pepper hummus is delicious. Look at this lovely colour to it. Between the peppers and the paprika, it just gives it this beautiful colour. Perfect texture. Again, we'll just swirl this around to make a pattern. And then I thought we'll decorate this with a few spring onions again. You can place it in one corner or you can spread it around. It's entirely up to you. And you can put in the comments what you'd like to decorate with. This time I've just sliced half moons with a cucumber. And then I've got a few grated carrots. And a few chickpeas left over. And then we'll just put a few tomatoes. And there we have our bell pepper hummus. Okay, so I've got some fresh beetroot here. And I'm just going to cut the end off and discard this bit here. And then what you can do is just get a sharp knife and peel the outside like this. Or you can use a potato peeler, whichever you prefer. I just think this is a nice easy way to do it. It's very messy beetroot, but it is lovely. It gives this hummus a really beautiful flavour. And then obviously just chop the other end off. And then just slice this. You put them into a dish. And you just put a little bit of olive oil on them. Again, use your hand or you can use a pastry brush and turn them over and do the same on the other side. So I've got two beetroot here and I'm going to put this in the oven at 200 degrees for about 10 or 15 minutes. If you didn't want to cook fresh beetroot, you can buy it vacuum packed um, and just put that straight into the food processor instead of roasting it but it's up to you so for the beet hummus we're going to put the roasted beetroot in and you can boil it or you can buy it in the ready-made packs vacuum packs that i showed you earlier we're going to put a chickpeas in quarter water salt olive oil put one in and if you want it creamier you can add a second one in if you wanted to with this one i'm going to put half a teaspoon of parsley then you can put, use fresh one if you wanted. Juice of half a lemon. If you wanted to, you could put just a little bit of grated carrots. That's optional. And the three tablespoon of tahini. I'm going to put the lid on and give that a quick blast for a few minutes. Okay, so you can see the beautiful colour with this one. So we're just going to dish it up into a bowl. It's lovely and creamy and really tasty. Of course, beetroot is very good and healthy for us. So again, we're just going to flatten it a little bit. And then just dig slightly with your spoon to make a kind of whirly pattern. So I'm going to decorate this with a bit of spinach, a few bits of grated carrot, and I left a few chickpeas just to scatter on the top for decoration. So we're just going to cut an avocado. So you just cut it in half, put your hands across the ways like that, and you will come to a stone. So then you just turn it around and do the other side. And then you just peel it apart and you take the stone out. So then you simply scoop out the avocado. And we'll put that into the food processor. So we'll put the avocado in. So now we're just going to add a bowl full of spinach. Again, another healthy ingredient. So 
To the spinach and avocado, we add our chickpeas, two decent sized garlic cloves, you can add more if you wanted to, half a juice of lemon, we're going to add a little bit of chilli flakes, about that much, about a quarter of a teaspoon. Obviously if you like a little bit of a kick you can add more and we'll add a bit of parsley, there's a quarter, I'll do another one, make half. You can put fresh parsley in if you wanted, we'll add a quarter of a cup of water, one tablespoon of olive oil, you can put an extra one if you wanted to, and some salt, you can add pepper if you wanted to add pepper, and then we just add three big spoonfuls of tahini. Then we put the lid on and give this a blast for a few minutes. So you can see how lovely this looks, and it's lovely and creamy. So I'm just going to dish it onto the plate. This has a beautiful texture to it. And what wonderful goodness with the avocado and the spinach. And you can add some pine nuts to it if you want. And make a circular pattern by just digging into it a little bit. And then we can put a lemon, a few tomatoes. I've chopped up a bit of spinach, just put that on the side. And then I have a few grated carrots. And there you can serve your spinach and avocado hummus. Now you can just cut it in half ready to put in the oven but if they're really really big and it's going to take longer you can just cut it in half again. So all you're going to do is cover this in a bit of oil. You can do this with the pastry brush or you can just do it with your hands if you want to get stuck in there and get messy and then just place that on a baking sheet. I'm just going to put these in the oven at 200 degrees centigrade. So these are your lovely delicious sweet potatoes. Now you can eat these on their own. These are a lovely dish to do on their own. But what we're going to do is just scoop it out of the skin and put it into a bowl for a minute. So now we're going to add the sweet potatoes into our food processor, our chickpeas, our quarter cup of water, our one tablespoon of oil, our salt, quarter cup of cumin and half a cup of paprika and your three tablespoon of tahini and then your half a lemon and if you wanted to add some mixed herbs to this you could add a teaspoon of mixed herbs i don't have any mixed herbs today so i'm just going to do half a teaspoon of parsley and then i've got some garlic i've got four because these this one was only these two were only small so i've got four garlic but you can put more garlic in you can play about with the recipe and add more of what you like. So we'll put the lid on and we'll give this a spin. So now we're just going to dish up this lovely sweet potato hummus. And look at the lovely colouring where I put the paprika in. It just gives it that beautiful rich colour. So again, we'll just flatten it down and you can make some patterns. Make patterns like that or you can swirl it around in a circle. It's entirely up to you. You do whatever you like with it and we'll decorate this with a little bit of salad, a few bits of cucumber, just slice this time, a few bits of tomato and then a few sunflower seeds and a few pumpkin seeds to garnish. And there you have your sweet potato hummus. Okay, so as you can see, you can have this, say, with a carrot and just dip it into your dip and eat it like this. Mm. You can get a bit of cucumber, crisps, whatever you want to put in your dip and just eat away. Mm. Or you can put it in a wrap and have a bit of salad or whatever you wanted. So I'm just going to show you that now. So you just get some of your hummus. I love loads on mine, but you can have however much you want. And you just spread that in the middle of your wrap. I love the brown wraps, but some people prefer the white ones. It's, it's personal taste. I don't go right to the edge, but you can if you want. And then what I'm going to do is just put a few grated carrots in it. I'm going to put some cucumber. If I had beetroot, actually, I would have put beet in, beetroot in this, but I don't have any at this particular moment in time. I'm going to put a few tomatoes in. And as you can see, I'm just putting this into the middle of the wrap. And then what I do is, you can imagine either end, so you just fold over those two little end bits and then you get your main part and you fold that over like this and then you roll it 
like that. So now I'm just going to cut this in half and that makes the perfect lunch. Look at that, hummus and salad.